Yeah. Yeah, yeah go, go with the um, other pandas. Go with the other pandas. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the plugin Libs Disguises for your Minehut server. Uh, basically, this plugin allows you to transform into whatever you want. Whatever I want? Whatever you want. You could be a successful career man, Michael. That's a pretty big transformation. I don't know if this one can do that. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's start small. We'll, we'll turn into creepers first. So do slash disguise <laughs> face creeper. And uh, oh, and now we're now we're creepers. Oh my god. Oh, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to turn into someone else. I'm going to turn into this person. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm Trent. I'm loved by everyone and I'm really successful and I have caring friends. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's too personal. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> this is, uh, this is amazing. Wait, wait, are you a panda? You know it. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is okay. New favorite plugin. So, like, basically, if it exists in the game, you can just do slash disguise it and yeah, go, anything go. you want. Oh my god, it's a red carpet. <laughs> I'm red wool, guys. A red wool. <laughs> and you can jump. That was a little more tricky. You gotta do disguise space. Falling block, falling underscore block. Um, I don't know the actual reason behind this. Trent, do you know? Why actually, you have I do. Falling block. So a falling block isn't actually a block that's placed there. So I won't actually like. I can walk through you, and it, and it's all good. A falling falling block is like sand as it's falling. So it's it's actually an entity. It's not a block. Everybody, pick something really funny that you're going to disguise as. Have it typed and ready. And then I'm gonna count three, two, one, and we're all gonna change our disguises. Let me know when you're oh, ready, no. okay? Three, two, one, disguise! <laughs> <laughs> we got a ghast, we got a jack-o'-lantern, and a trident! <laughs> it looks like the trident is <laughs> All right, so to remove your disguise, do you undisguise. Flash, undisguise. Now we're back to, well, I'm back to myself. We're back to yeah. ourselves! I don't know if I'll ever do okay, it. There we go. <laughs> All better now. Wait, um, wait a second. Oh. Wait a second. I just I got so think... much more attractive. <laughs> Hold on, I need to think of. I need to think of asking a wow. question that only the real car would know the answer to. Oh. Say I want to make someone else something. Did I do it? There we go. I just oh made it. Oh no. You can do He's slash so disguise entity. Slash disguise entity. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so cute. Trent, you're adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're so cute too. So a couple of things you can do with this plugin, you can actually give people permissions on your server if you have ranks set up where they can disguise as different monsters or animals based on which rank they have. And the other thing that you can actually do that I've played before is you could do like a prop hunt server um, or like, a, like a, a disguise mini game where you make it so people can disguise as blocks and then they have to hide. And that used to be popular. I haven't played that game in a long time though. So um, a couple, of, a couple other things you can do is you can obviously undisguise other people by doing the same slash undisguise entity. But if you can't find them, you can do undisguise radius, and we'll do um, we'll do ten blocks. So I've undisguised uh -huh. both of you because you're within ten blocks of me. This is a very straightforward uh -oh. plugin, but I think it has a lot of cool applications like. Like, what if you do hide and seek where I can transform into a tree or a flower yeah. or something? Yes. That is how you use Libs Disguises on your Minehut server. Hope you use it. Um, it's very if, fun. Yeah, if, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to uh, like it and write in the comments. Be sure to let us know how you guys are using this plugin or if there's any other plugins that you want to know. Or maybe if you have a better question to find out which car is the real car. Yes, that, that's a good one. Even I don't know.